No. One second. I don't care if it's the VMAs. I'm not jumping off of there. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for Taylor Swift's wildest, shadiest, and most hilarious moments. Here's to you, cause forgiveness is a nice thing to do. <laughs> Number 10, Taylor versus Taylor versus Taylor. Tyler Swift was not the extent of Taylor Swift's acting range. In her 2017 music video for Look What You Made Me Do, Swift took her public image to a whole new level by playing herself several times. Playing the various versions of herself created by the media, it's like a nightmarish psychological thriller in music video form. Like your little games don't like your tilted stage. Even more batty is the behind the scenes footage. Taylor is performing with a capital P. The absolute acting masterclass of her shaking a body double and screaming, Get out of my house! should be taught in drama school. It's powerful stuff, and honestly, a little frightening too. Number 9, hiding in her luggage. Sometimes you've got to find a private place away from all the glitz, glamour, and paparazzi. According to former duet partner Zayn Malik, Taylor Swift found an interesting place to hide from prying eyes. That place is her luggage. Apparently, the rumors that Swift was being carried out of her apartment in a suitcase by her bodyguards turned out to be true. Who knew the pop star was also an escape artist? During the 2023 Eras Tour, her illusionist skills became big news again when fan footage confirmed she was being snuck onto the stage before the show in a big janitor's cart. Number 8. Apple Music Ad in a headline-grabbing ad released on April Fool's Day 2016, Taylor Swift showed us the benefits and dangers of an intense cardio workout. The commercial for Apple Music showcases Taylor getting her steps in, dancing and rapping along to Drake in future single Jumpman. But a misstep sends her careening forward until she spills off of the treadmill and onto the cold, hard ground. Although some viewers were able to clock the subtle edit that swaps in Taylor for a brave stunt double, it was wild to see such a big star wipe out so hard. Drake responded in kind with his own Apple Music ad a few months later. Number 7. Dang Dear Could Taylor Swift be the next Meryl Streep? During an early career appearance on the BBC radio program Switch with Annie and Nick, Taylor got to show off her talent for mimicry and accents. She chose to do an impression of a disgruntled Minnesota soccer mom for the radio DJs. I was in my van and this mini, this oh, this deer, this dang deer just jumped out in front of my van and I didn't even know what was going on. But even more bonkers than the impression was her improvised story about this dang deer that ran out in front of her car and made her late picking up her imaginary son from soccer practice. If I hit the deer, then I got that on my mind all day and I got to clean off my car. Her layered and moving performance had the entire British crew cackling. I was late to pick Jimmy up and he's like, Mom, you're late and he's just, you know, nagging at me the whole rest of the day and it's all because of this dang deer. Number six, fear of sea urchins. If you knew what sea urchins were, you would be terrified. Well, A guest on Ellen DeGeneres knows they might have to face their deepest, darkest fears at any given time. <laughs> A simple leading question about sea urchins gave way to a boatload of neuroses. When Ellen tells Taylor that a sea urchin is fairly harmless, it sends the singer-songwriter on a rant about the potential loss of limb and life posed by these prickly underwater menaces. They're like a grenade. They're like, they're, they're sitting there waiting to completely injure you. Sea urchin stings can apparently lead to hands and feet just falling right off. But don't quote her on that. You have to go to the emergency room and it has to be surgically removed. You could lose your foot, you could lose your hand, you could lose your hand trying to get it off of your foot. Although her fear may be a little irrational, she makes a good case for literally never going in the water again. Number 5. Commercial with her cats To those of you who aren't in the know, Taylor Swift really likes cats. She talks about them, she sings about them. Yeah. 
watch, he's even gotten to play one in a movie that gave us many unhinged moments of its own. Macabre sees a ginger cat. He's very tall and thin. When she became the star of AT&T's DirecTV Now commercials, let's just say her cats were heavily involved. I put on DirecTV Now so you wouldn't be bored. Isn't that sweet? She left a cartoon on for us. We're not children, Taylor. But we don't get the feeling she's a stage mom. Taylor, you know I'm gonna have to ask you about the love of your life, right? Meredith. Taylor takes being a cat mom very seriously, and over the years, Swifties have developed a fondness for her three furry children, Meredith, Olivia, and Benjamin. Number 4. The MySpace Era In the late 2010s, alleged snapshots of Taylor Swift's MySpace page began circulating. Her profile, again alleged, is a treasure trove of mid-2000s nostalgia, emo aesthetics, and strange comments presented without context. Her pre-fame concerns were pretty simple. She waxes poetic about suspicious vans, lollipops, and her unexplained hatred for sewing machines. Let's face it, none of us were our coolest and most composed selves on MySpace, but thankfully most of us aren't famous enough to have our early social media activities forever memorialized by internet sleuths. Legend has it she and Grant Wood still have beef. Maybe they'll make up before the next tour. Number 3. Je suis calme! The music video for the 2019 hit Me showed us another one of Taylor's talents, her amazing French. The video starts with a hysterically dramatic scene where Panic at the Disco frontman Brendan Urie and Taylor have an argument in French for some reason. Je suis calme, she screams in a totally not calm way. Je suis calme! <laughs> this one looks like so much fun to shoot, and behind the scenes footage of the artist rehearsing her French are just as charming as the end result. Je suis calme! Je suis, Je suis calme. calme! Yeah, I see that. In all its retro pastel glory, the entire video is so much fun. It even includes one of her more controversial lyrics. Spelling is fun! Honestly, we have to stand a phonics queen. Number 2. Taylor vs. Banana Late night host Jimmy Fallon knows just how to bring out Taylor's silly side, even if it means blindsiding her with an embarrassing video. Didn't you just get LASIK surgery? I did. How do you know that? No. Swift knew something was going on when Fallon started asking about her recent eye surgery. You What's know, happening right now? <laughs> your mom may or may not have videotaped you after surgery. Then Fallon surprised, or should we say playfully ambushed, Taylor with footage of her in a post-surgery painkiller haze. You found a snack. It wasn't the one I wanted. <laughs> Stop, you can't cry. In footage captured by Taylor's mom, she has a hilariously emotional reaction to a banana. Don't fall asleep eating a banana, okay? I'm not asleep. My mind is alive. Stunned by her on-camera antics, Taylor had to fight to keep it together for the rest of the interview. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. No, it's Becky. Fans couldn't believe it when Taylor embraced this Tumblr meme. Or is that Becky? Natalie. She's 13, she likes to eat apricots, and she has a Band-Aid collection. Well, my name's Natalie, and I'm 13, and I like to eat apricots, and I have a Band-Aid collection. Yes, Whale! When Taylor turned into the narrator of a nature documentary. Whale! Look at it! Yes, Whale! Recording a random sound that came to her in the night. We have just recorded a idea I got in the middle of the night that is so stupid. Dressing up as Olaf from Frozen. Because being a big goofy kid never goes out of style. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. SNL Monologue Song If there's anything Taylor Swift has never been afraid of, it's poking fun at her star persona. It's called Monologue Song. In parentheses, La La La. 
Saturday Night Live has been a place for her to spread her comedy wings, even when she's not hosting. So many bunnies on the floor tonight, hot pinky shaking their bunny hips to the she bunny and all of us. In her playfully messy opening monologue for this 2009 episode of SNL, she got to show off her comedy chops alongside her musical ones. I like baking and things that smell like winter, but I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> in my monologue. This hilarious and self-parodying musical monologue took playful jabs at Joe Jonas, VMA stage crasher Kanye West, and even her own habit of writing songs about exes. I like writing their names into songs so they're ashamed to go in public, but I'm not gonna say that in my monologue. For a lot of people, it may have been the first time they really got to see her be as silly as her fans knew her to be. Did we get this one right, or is our Swifty card revoked? Let us know in the comments. But there's nothing more to say, cause everything's okay, I've got security lining the stage. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.